sit down with you guys and let you know what what is going on in my world at the moment <laughs> i feel like we need to do a major life catch up so yes the reason i'm packing up is because my lease is ending at the end of this month like i've mentioned to you before the cost of living crisis in singapore at the moment is literally it's real cost of living in singapore has just increased dramatically over the past year i would say post covid everything's just gone kind of crazy here and rental prices have have just surged to the point where it's just it's becoming like unaffordable to live here and rent here and so for that reason not only that the housing market here at the moment is just so competitive and so crazy everyone's struggling to find um places to live i was like you know what i said last year that i wanted to try giving um living in another country a go and bali has always been on my on my list of places that i would like to try and live for a while and i was like it kind of all aligns it's kind of perfect timing my lease is ending it's the start of a new year somewhere still in asia because this is just like my home and i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go stay in bali for a while and i don't know how long for i don't know what the future holds for me and I guess that's kind of exciting kind of nerve-wracking but also it is exciting um and i'm not i don't feel like i'm saying goodbye to singapore forever like singapore will always be here and i'm still tied to singapore i'll be back and forth as well um but yeah i'm gonna be i'm be, gonna be going to bali for a while which is so crazy and it feels really weird to finally tell you guys i hope you're excited for new content um in indonesia lots of new places to explore lots of like to learn about a new culture i'm very excited about that it would just be fun to mix it up a little bit with that comes the very stressful part of moving out for what feels like the hundredth time in the past two years i if you've been keeping up with the vlogs i have moved so many times in the last couple of years it's been crazy um i've never really like settled anywhere for more than three or four months but yeah, my camera battery is flashing, so um, I better go finish unpacking. I guess it might be a bit ironic to make space for my storage, but um, just going back through these things almost a year later, and I've just realised that a lot of it I don't really need to hold on to, mainly kitchenware. I've got some really like gorgeous mugs and plates and stuff, and as much as I love them, I just don't think it makes sense to hold on to them. So I'm gonna try and sell these on Instagram. Um, and just things like some electronics, like I've got a random microphone and just stuff like that, and I think it'd be worth making a bit more space. So I'm gonna go ahead and start listing these um, on Instagram. stomping grounds I'm at Everton Park and I feel like I haven't been here in so long I used to be here all the time and I used to live in the area um, I'm gonna pop to I'm going to nylon coffee and then I'm gonna go try out a new sandwich place um, meet my friend Jasmine it's lunchtime I'm very hungry so that's what I'm gonna do it's just starting to rain as well it's also just starting to rain and I do not have an umbrella what I was gonna get lucky with the weather today because the weather's been so amazing these last few days um and now the rain's back oh my god there's so many cute new places this is so exciting oh gelato look at this i don't know why i get so excited about new places popping up i'm absolutely dying for a coffee i'm gasping so let's go get a coffee found the place I've gone for this sandwich it's a breakfast sandwich it was meant to be bacon cheese and egg um, but I've taken out the egg and swapped it out for a hash brown 
uh, because hash browns are life. And the bacon's very different, it's like very thick kind of bacon, but it looks really good. crazy sounds the wind is howling it's going crazy outside it's just got so dark hence the awful lighting um there's a storm coming in and it's crazy i've got my tea i've got so much to do this morning like i'm getting a bit stressed out to be honest i always get stressed out on fridays i feel like fridays are one of my most stressful days just because you're rushing to get everything done by the weekend also it's um chinese new year this weekend so next monday and tuesday are public holiday and it's a long weekend and it's all just a bit a bit crazy i'm currently snacking on these dime i went to ikea last night and got oh my god the rain i got these dime things nuggets It's a few hours later now. I am absolutely pooped, but I managed to get um, mostly everything ticked off of my to-do list. Thank goodness. And yeah, my hat's launched today. My House of Pangea, the new corduroy caps, they just launched. So I was kind of rushing to get that done today. So yeah, the new unisex caps are available to shop. If you would like to, I'll leave a link down below. And they're not pre-orders, we have them already in stock. So they'll be shipped within one to two days, which is great that I can get them to you guys faster. It's just rained again. It's been like not, like on and off raining all day long. It's been such, such weird weather. I was just gonna have a little bit of wind down time. I recently bought this really cute journal off of Amazon. It's called the Gratitude Journal. And I saw a lot of people posting about it on Instagram and I was like oh my god that's such a good idea like a journal that's actually dedicated to you taking the time to sit down and write what you're grateful for and I know that stuff can be like really cheesy and like a bit hippy dippy and you're like yeah yeah okay but I have found that the more I've just been jotting down like random things that I'm grateful for in the day the more like it's made me realize what I do have in my life like I think I'm quite a lot of the time like a glass half empty kind of person um which happens and so this kind of makes you be a bit more mindful about what you do have that kind of glass half full attitude um with an abundance mindset instead of a scarcity mindset so i always think it's really important to kind of like be mindful of that and so this journal is really cute oh. I'll show you. So basically each page just looks like this and then it has the date, it has like a different quote um, at the top of each page but it says I am grateful for positive affirmation and good things that happened today and what I learned today. Like just as an example I've kind of been complaining or moaning about how busy today's been and how it's kind of been stressing me out but something to be grateful for is that i've been busy and the fact that you know i'm working for myself i have my own business so those positive affirmations kind of cancel out any like negative emotions or thoughts that you had from the day which i really really like so i'm gonna go ahead to take some time to do that now and yeah i'm gonna wrap the vlog up here um there's gonna be a, still a few more videos before i make my way over to bali so don't worry about that i'm not leaving right away i also, also want to quickly ask you earlier i was bagging up old clothes i've cleared my wardrobe of two massive bags of ikea like I, big ikea bags of clothes that i want to donate um if any of you guys know of any donation 
clothes donation companies in Singapore who will collect the clothes from my house rather than me having to like go to donation bins. If you know anyone that will come like pick up, please do leave a comment below and let me know. Um, it'd be really handy because it's just much easier for me to do it that way. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, remember to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you like, and I'll see you, I'll see you very soon. Bye.